will be learning about forces again today. So your homework was to do research and find out about find out about some other technologies related to dog sled racing. You had to choose one technology and prepare a one minute talk that explains why or how it is used. So can anyone tell me, does technology have to be electronic? Does technology have to be electronic like my phone? No. Yeah, it does not. It does not have to be electronic. Technology could be something like a material that something's made out of, okay? It could be a different way to farm. There's tons of different technologies. It could be a new type of coat that keeps you warm. Maybe it's a jacket that keeps you cold. These are all different technologies, okay? So if you have not finished your video yet, you guys can click on the thing that you can click on research. You can click on research. If you click on research, it will pull up a website. This website has some different technologies that I Googled, but here are some examples of things you could talk about um, in your video. You have the dog sled. Maybe you could talk about the material the dog sleds are made out of. Remember, are dog sleds supposed to be light or heavy? Light or heavy? Who can tell me, is the dog sled supposed to be light or heavy? So the dog can run faster when the snow rice cross. Exactly. Yeah. It needs to be lighter because it's easier to pull something that is light. If the dog sled's too heavy, the dogs are going to struggle to pull it. The dog sled should be light. So maybe you could talk about the type of wood that they use to make dog sleds. Maybe there's a type of metal, maybe a type of plastic. You'd have to look that up, okay? Let's see what else they have. You have some of the gang line, tug lines, and neck lines. These are all the ropes that they use to connect the dogs. Maybe you could look up the type of rope that is used to harness the dogs. Maybe it's a special type of rope. You have the snow hook. The snow hook is kind of like a brake. The person steps on it and it slows down the sled. It hooks into the snow, slowing down the sled. Okay, you have harnesses. You have things like booties. Booties are kind of like boots for the dogs. Why would the dogs need to wear boots or because. booties? Why do you guys think? Why would the dogs need to wear boots? They wear boots so they will not be cold their feet. Yeah. Exactly. The dog's feet don't want to get cold. If they get too cold, they'll get something called hyperthermia. Humans can also get hypothermia. It's when your body starts to freeze, to freeze. You have dog jackets to keep them warm. You have wraps to keep them warm. So guys, you can use this website and it has a bunch of different technologies that are used. These are all different technologies. So guys, if you're struggling to come up with your video, use this website to choose a technology okay remember we're going to go over the videos um on monday we're going to watch the videos on monday we might also watch a few on friday make sure you have it turned in by this weekend i'm going to extend the deadline a little bit for you guys okay because not everyone could get them done last night Okay, okay, so what are we gonna learn about today? We're gonna learn about situations where you would use a strong force or a weak force, and we're gonna talk about the technologies for a sled dog racing. We have done the first one, so today we're gonna be talking about when should we use a strong force versus a weak force. Before we do that, let's watch a video Let's watch a video that goes over what we have learned so far. 
make sure the video is only three minutes long. Make sure you're paying attention to the video because I'm going to call on people and ask them questions about the video. So now let's talk about it for a little bit. Who can tell me the definition of a force? Who can tell me the definition of a force? Let's have dragon. Or what? Yeah, a push or a pull. Yeah, a push or a pull. Good job, dragon. Okay. So guys, we use force to push and pull objects. This can change their shape. This can change their direction. Okay, guys, what would happen if there was no gravity? What would happen in the video if there was no gravity? Raise your hand if you know. What would happen to our ball if we throw it and there's no gravity? What would happen to a ball? It will be flying in the sky and never get to land anymore. <laughs> yeah, it would fly forever if there was no gravity. So would you. Everyone would be floating. You'd be running into your ceiling right now. You might be in, on your ceiling right now if there was no gravity, okay? Gravity is the force that keeps us on the ground. Once again, it's also what gives us our muscles. We need our muscles to fight gravity. Every time you pick up your arm, you're fighting gravity. Astronauts have to work out in space because they don't have gravity and they can get really, really weak while they're in space. When they come home to Earth, when an astronaut comes from outer space back to Earth, they can't walk. They can't walk because gravity is too, it's too heavy. It's too heavy. They don't have enough force to stand up. Astronauts have to work out their muscles in space because there's no gravity in space. Okay, guys, let me share your PowerPoint again and we can continue on. Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about a strong or weak force. I would like someone to read the first paragraph for us. Could someone read the first paragraph for us? Let's have Susie, can you read the first paragraph? Yes, strong or weak, a force can be weak or strong. You can tap lightly on a door by using your fingers to create a weak force. Or you can use your fist to apply a strong force to not lamp. Very good. So guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unmute all of you and I want you guys to make a weak, use a weak force on your table, on a table or a surface close to you. I wanna hear a weak force so it should be quiet. We should hear something very quiet like this. There we go. Okay, now that's a lot of feedback. I want you guys to use a strong force. Strong force, guys. Okay, good job, guys. That feedback was bad, I am sorry. So yeah, a weak force sounds something like this. And our strong force is when we knock really loudly with our fist with our fist. Okay, let's read the second paragraph, guys. Tom, can you read the second paragraph? Tom. The strength of any force can be changed. If you, if your friends across the room doesn't hear what you say, you can put more force into your voice to make it louder. Robert, when we use our voice really loudly, Robert, when we use our voice very loudly, what is that called? Um, shout. Yeah, we shout. We use our voice. We use a lot of force to shout. But if we don't want to hear Mr. Connor talking, if we're in class and we don't want Mr. Connor to hear us talking, 
we have to whisper. We have to whisper and use a weak force or Mr. No. Connor will hear us. We have to mute. <laughs> yeah, we have to mute. That's a really weak force. So I would like you guys, you guys can draw. Let me make sure. Okay. So in both pictures below, the pizza maker uses force to push the dough into the air. In which picture does the pizza maker use a weaker force? And put an X on the in on the correct circle. Which one is using a weaker force? You guys can draw in three, two, one, go. Put an X in the circle of the correct one. Which one shows the weaker force? Mia's good. So those were our first three. Susie, good job. Minkong, good job. Daisy, good job. Okay. Let me disable. You guys got it correct. Thank you guys for the people that put an X in the circle. You are not supposed to put an X on the picture. Just in the circle. What happened to the pizza when we used too much force? What happened to the pizza when we used too much force? What's that pizza doing? The pizza will stick on the roof because it's too many uh, flour and they will stick. Yeah, the dough is sticking on the roof. He hit the ceiling. He hit the ceiling. So this, this is a situation where a weaker force is better. A weaker force is better. In some situations, a weaker force is better. In others, a strong force is better. A strong force is better. Let's read about a situation where a strong force is better. Put an X in the circle on the picture that shows the girl using a stronger force to throw the ball more accurately. Okay, choose A or B. Remember, draw an X in the circle. Let's see who is first. In three, two, one, go. Draw. Okay, Ming Kwong was first. Daisy, good job. I can hear you drawing. I can hear you guys drawing. Okay, let me disable this. That was a lot of drawing. Thank you guys for the people that used an X in the circle. These are incorrect. These are circles. I don't know what those are. These are too big. Let me get rid of some. So in this situation, is it better to use a strong force or a weak force? Is it better to use a strong force or a weak force in this example? Nick, is it better to use a weak force or a strong force? A strong force. Yeah. You need to use a strong force to make it into the basket. If the force is weak, the basketball won't make it. But remember, in this example, if you use a strong force, your pizza will be on the ceiling and you won't be able to eat it. So you should use a weak force. Now, let's see if you guys can apply this. We're going to play some tic-tac-toe. We're going to do boys... <laughs> We're going we're gonna to play tic-tac-toe. It's where you get three in a row. It's going to be boys versus girls. Boys versus girls. Who will go first? We're going to have the boys go first. Yay! We're going to play two games. So the boys will go first this game, and the girls can go first in the next game. So our first game, I have nine rectangles, and they each have a situation in them. Maybe it's throwing a bowling ball. Maybe it is a dog pulling a sled. There's different examples. What I would like you guys to do is if I call on you, read an example, and then tell me if you would use a strong force or a weak force. If you get it correct, I will either put an X or an O for your team. The boys will start off, so they will start with X. They will be X's, and girls, you will be O. You will be O. So I'm going to call on a boy, 
and you can read whatever one you want. And then I will put an X if you get it correct. The first team to get three in a row, if you get three X's in a row, you win. Okay, let's have the boys go first. Let's have, Jack, are you there? Okay, Jack, can you choose one of the squares, read it, and tell me if it's you would use a weak force or a strong force? Pushing a shopping cart. Okay, is this shopping cart, you can decide, is the shopping cart heavy or light? Is your shopping cart full of food or has nothing in it? Nothing. No, nothing in it. Door. Okay, if the shopping yeah. cart has nothing in it, are you going to use a weak force or a strong force to push weak. the shopping cart? Weak. Very good. So the boys get the first one correct. Let me give them an X. We use a weak force to push a shopping cart that is empty. Good job, boys. Okay, girls, let's choose. Let's have Tuyen. Tuyen, can you? Choose any rectangle you want and tell me a weak force or a strong force. Um, throwing a bowling ball to hit the pins. Okay, what would you use? A strong force or a weak force to knock over the pins? Um. A strong force. Okay. The girls get an O. Let's have Can another boy go. Let's have Thomas. He's raising his hand and is quiet. I took kicking a football to scar go. Okay. And is that a strong force or a weak force? Strong force. A strong force. Good job. Okay, girls, you got to stop them. The boys have two in a row. The boys have two in a row. Girls, it's your turn. Daisy, you can go. Mm -hmm. One dog playing a flag. Okay, one dog pulling a sled. Okay, would that take a strong force or a weak force? It's a strong force. Exactly, a strong force. So you guys get a circle. Uh-oh, the boys, the boys have an opportunity to win here. Let's see. Let's have, how about Hai Long? Pushing a pipe bomb off the Table. Okay, what type of force is that? Weak force. A weak force. And the boys have gotten three in a row. So the boys are our winner. The boys are the winner. They got three in a row. Good job, boys. Okay, this time, the girls will go first. Okay. Let's play one more game of tic-tac-toe. This time, I gave you strong force or weak force. You have to tell me the situation. You have to make it up. You have to tell me when you would use a strong force. So maybe you would say, throwing a Frisbee, throwing a Frisbee. And you would say that would be a strong force. So you have to tell me what number you want, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, and then tell me the situation in which you would use a strong force or a weak force. You guys have to make the situation up. If you get the situation correct, I will give you your X or your O. Okay, this time the girls will go first. Do we have any questions? Do we have any questions before we start? Okay, let's play this game. Let's have Mia. You can go first. Mia, what number would you like? It can be any number you want. Number nine. Number nine. Okay, what's an example of using a strong force? Throw the ball. Yeah, throwing a ball. You can use a strong force. Good job. That's a good first go. Okay, so the girls get Can in. I play oh. with the combo? Okay, okay. Let's have a boy go. I would like Casper to try. I would like Casper to try. Mm. Ca choose any number you want. 
Number seven. Okay, number seven. Give me an example of a strong force. What would you need to do to use it? Give me an example of when you would need to use a strong force. Push a bookshelf. Yeah, that, that sounds pretty heavy. A bookshelf sounds really he heavy. Books, books are so heavy. Very good. Um, what what did we learn today? What situations would you use a strong force <sighs> for a weak force? This is the game that we just played. Okay, we're actually not. You know, you guys aren't gonna have any extra homework tonight. I'm not going to assign any extra homework. But if you did not finish your video, make sure to finish it tonight. I'm giving you no homework. So make sure you guys work on your video tonight. If you have sent in your video already, you're good and you have no homework for tonight, okay? If you've already sent in your video, you have no homework for tonight. I'll give you guys your homework tomorrow night, okay? But that is it for today, guys. Do you guys have any questions before we leave? Any questions Bye -bye. before we leave? Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.